Alrighty, we good? We're on. What's up, everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Now, look, I'm going to be honest, this video is not going to be very well put together. Um, I didn't script it, I didn't plan it. I really just wanted to turn on the camera and just talk a little bit. Um, because I think that there's something that we all need to address, and that's how most of us are feeling, right? Now, what we're seeing in the market a lot right now, across a lot of YouTube, let's turn you this way a little bit, across YouTube, across many of the other platforms, socials, crypto, Twitter, etc., is that a lot of people are leaving the space. Now, not only are a lot of people leaving the space, but even notable people, right? Some of these institutional investors that were once a part of it are leaving it or selling some of these VCs that were once a major driving force in it are leaving or selling right we're seeing a lot of just widespread disarray amongst the crypto verse and although it is scary and it is something that I do understand I do believe that it's kind of a, a telltale sign of where we are very likely at within this entire cyclical market now I want to talk about me personally for a second because I, I feel like many of you may not feel as if you can relate to some of the influencers in the space that talk about this right that are all saying listen Listen, you got to, you know, build right now. You got to be excited right now. Buy when people are angry and buy when people are scared and do this, do this, do this. But what I want you to understand is that as someone who does own my own agency that is in contact with over 30 YouTubers, we are all feeling the same way, right? I know in this space, sometimes it feels like the influencers and, you know, with our crazy ass clickbait titles and things like that, we're always seeming so optimistic. But behind the camera, a lot of the time, we're feeling that same exhaustion that you're feeling, that same boringness that you're feeling. A lot of us are feeling those emotions like, man, this shit's getting kind of old, isn't it? Right? When something going to happen? When is the excitement going to happen? When are we going to get that feeling that we had in 2021 again? You know, a lot of people, a lot of people behind the scenes are feeling those exact emotions the same as you. Now, you might be clicking this video because you've not seen one of my videos in a year because you've just kind of stepped away from crypto. Like, fuck it. I'm not going to deal with it until it gets back on track to where it used to be. And I want to tell you that I understand. As a YouTuber, I'm sure you've noticed my video upload content isn't daily anymore. It's to every two or three days now. And that's just because the amount of content and the things that there are to be excited about in the space and things to talk about in the space has dwindled quite a bit. You know, there obviously is the bad news, but what you've come to notice is that on my channel, I'm not really a bad news guy. I don't really like to just go over the bad shit 24 seven. I just like to talk about levels of optimism. Obviously we do do a lot of trading on this channel, a lot of charting and things of that nature, but even the charts have been boring. What 70 days, 80 days now of sideways movement it's kind of hard to keep up with and that's a rather consistent thing within this crypto verse during bear markets so what i want to tell you is those of you who have left or those of you who are wanting to leave or feeling exhausted from a personal standpoint i do understand but let me tell you exactly what i'm doing and as a result of you know how i'm feeling how i'm going about it now, what I've come to realize is that although these times do feel dead, historically speaking, in these moments where no one's looking up things like crypto, when no one's looking up real estate, when no one, well, real estate's a little different, but when no one's looking up the stock market, when no one's looking up these markets, those are times in which we do notice that they are realistically the best buying opportunities. I mean, let's use the stock market, for example. Let's just use the stock market real quick. And let's look at the stock market from 2004 to 2023 on Google Trends. Now, what this means is how many people are Googling the stock market over the last, what's that, 19 years or so? And what you can notice is that although, yes, 2020 was absolutely insane with the crash from the pandemic, but outside of that, there have been these moments such as 2008 with the crash or this run-up that we saw in 2010, 2011, the run-ups that we saw around 2015, 2016 a little bit in 2018 a little bit into the you know towards the end of 2018 and then obviously the craziness of the last few years there are these moments where everyone's talking about it right everyone's talking about the stock market everyone wants to be a part of the stock market everyone's buying apple or tesla or any of these you know these stocks that are making people a lot of money facebook's amazon's etc but realistically, there's moments of cyclicality. There's moments in which no one's talking about it. In 2009, no one was talking about it. In 2013, no one was talking about it. In 2017, no one was talking about it. And even where we are right now with the stock market, more people are talking about it and looking for it and finding answers about it than we saw back in these previous times. Now, yes, access to the internet has increased, but you get the general flow of where I'm going with this. Although there are these moments in which no one's talking about something doesn't mean that that thing is gone forever. It doesn't mean that that thing's not coming back. And so when I look at something like crypto from a similar perspective, we have seen times like this before from 2018 to 2020 where no one cared about crypto. Who cared? I remember being a Bitcoin holder in 2018 with a little bit. Don't get me wrong. I was a high school student, but I was holding that crypto. And I didn't care. Right. I just held it because my friends held it. And so with that, obviously, we did see that as time went on, the overall benefit of crypto did start to come to light a little bit more. And people came back to the world of crypto, especially when they had extra spare money that they wanted to throw into this thing. Right. And 
And so the way that I look at it is in a time like this where we have seen development, we have seen progress, and we have seen an overall growth for the crypto industry, when the time does come for people to have extra money, maybe not stimulus check money, but some extra money that they can throw into the things that they're you know used to or that they understand or they know about, that is going to be the time when crypto really does catch some momentum. I do believe that where we are now, crypto is much more widespread. It's much more adopted. It's much more understood than it was four years ago. And so why in a time when <clears throat> less people knew about it, it was capable of making a resurgence and growing from worse positions than we're in now, why couldn't it do it now when we are seeing politicians starting to implement cryptocurrencies within their legislation? Why would we not see it? And that's the way that I see it, right? Now, sure, are there, are there the capabilities and possibilities that the SEC and all of them run crypto down in specific countries like the United States, and it makes it very difficult for it to come back here? Sure, that is a possibility. But from a worldwide perspective, many people are starting to understand the overall grip that crypto has on certain areas that makes it more effective, right? And so because of that, I do believe crypto has a future. And I do understand that where we are now, although exhausting, is extremely opportunistic. It's okay to be exhausted and still dollar cost average. It's okay to be exhausted and still buy it, even though you maybe just don't really want to. But it is also okay to not do anything. If you're one of those people who's like, fuck this, I'm sick of this. It's boring. There's nothing happening. I'm tired of just waiting and waiting, waiting. Stop waiting. It's now time to go do something else. It's okay. But what I would say is that keep an eye on crypto because when the tide does shift, you want to be a part of it early because it might be too late by the time you really catch back on. And so if you're one of the people who wants to leave crypto, if you're one of the people who doesn't want to be a part of this anymore, go do what you got to do. Go enjoy life. Go find the values in life. Go look for the things that make you genuinely happy because in the times we're in right now, especially in this country, shit's a little bit ugly, right? So go do what you got to do, but keep an eye on it. Because I would honestly say that where we are in this market, we're probably closer to things getting better than we are to when things were very ugly. And so if you made it this far, I would tell most of my friends, hey, just stick it out and see what happens. But if you're just done, if you're exhausted, if you're ready to leave, I understand, but just keep an eye on crypto. Those of you who are still opportunistic like myself, those of you who do want to stay a part of this space, those of you other influencers and creators and things of that nature within this space, it is time to build. Although I have been exhausted in posting a little bit less on YouTube or posting a little bit less on Discord, I have been building other businesses that are cryptocurrency related because I understand that when things start to break back down, it poses the ability for you to find the opportunity and how to build it back up. And so what my goal is right now is to take where we are right now and build on top of it so that when time does come for crypto to make its resurgence, I can be a part of the major players that allows that to happen, right? And so if you're one of those people, start building. Now's the time to really double down, start looking for other opportunities, looking for ways to expand your business, looking for ways to expand your skill set and your mindset on how you can contribute to the crypto space. Because if you do, and if I'm right, and crypto makes its resurgence, well, I do believe there can be a lot of success found there. And so with that said, I just wanted to let you know, I understand. Understand, okay, I do understand. and I feel it too. This shit gets boring, but that's all a part of the game. Just like the stock market saw it back in some of these other times, the future does move on and times do continue on. And if it, crypto will move anything like the stock market, well, from 2000, you know, from 1984 to 2023, although times do get boring, they do seemingly still get better. And so with that said, I will continue to update you. I do have some more content dropping this week. I am currently on a cruise as you do watch this. So make sure you do pay attention for when the notifications go out because those videos, of course, are coming at you every few days. So with that said, I hope you guys did enjoy and well, I will see you all next time. Peace out, everybody.